All right, so I've headed up to Dartmoor today and it's beautiful weather, like really, really good. It's starting to finally feel like summer in the UK and I've brought Zach with me. Have a little explore, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, so I've brought the camera and I've also brought the DJI Avata. Um, if I get a chance, I'll fly it. Unfortunately, I haven't got full charge, so we'll see what we get. Hopefully we get some good stuff. But we're gonna have an explore and uh, I'm gonna show Zach Dartmoor. You know, love it, aren't you? Oh yeah. She loves exploring, so we're gonna head out and uh, we'll see what we get. Right, let's dive into it. So, uh, Zach, aren't you uh, a little bit scared of heights? Just a little bit. Should we go uh, walk on the side of that one, you think? Well, I'm not. Yeah. And walk along there. What do you reckon? I'd do it. I am not having you walk on the side of that. I'm not, I'm not going to A&E today. It wouldn't even be A&E. There'd be nothing well, left here. He is, and don't expect me not to do it. Oh god, she's doing it. Yeah, she's coming back now. Fair play though. That is a, uh, it's a big drop. It's a big drop. <laughs> yeah, but, Zach, like, if you'd have fallen, right, serious things would have happened. Like, I'd have had to then get a new drone. Sounds like a new problem, doesn't it? <laughs> Didn't trip me. Didn't trip me. <laughs> All right, so I found a really good place for us to get a lot of uh, sort of good photographs here. So I'm using my 85 and my A7R 3 and there's a lot of green around here. And we've got really good contrasting colours to go with that because Zach's wearing a white top. It should stand out really well. So we'll see what we get. As, a, as I say, have a look at this green behind me. Yeah, it just works really well. And I've not actually done that many sort of shots in a, a, a woodland or a forest. So it should be quite interesting to see what I get. I'll start with the 85 and then maybe we'll switch to the 70 to 200 just to get some sort of different style of shots. But yeah, I'm gonna take my uh, ND filter off because I don't really need this. And we'll see what we got. All ready? Yeah. Good, all right, let's jump to it. All right, so what I've done is play a sock just here. Uh, where is she? There, okay. So just leaning against that, so we're going to be capturing a lot of that green, a lot of the sort of foreground, background elements and getting some good shots. This isn't a planned shoot, it's just practice and uh, we'll get some really good stuff uh, for Zach. So, looking forward to it. I haven't got my GoPro with me, so what I'll do is show you the positions I'm doing and then just put the pictures on the actual video. So, we'll go from there. Right, let's jump to it. down at the, like that, yeah. Nice chilled out. Yeah. All right, some really cool shots. We're gonna just play around with this area a little bit more. And I'm gonna start trying to shoot down a little bit, seeing what we get from that. So hopefully some more good results. Let's have a look. So I want you to look over your shoulder directly at the camera on this one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to a little bit closer up. There we go. Look up a little bit more. Just relax. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. All right, so we found another really cool place to shoot. So Zach's practicing the pose already, see? Yeah, so we're gonna, yeah, very comfortable. Oh yeah, totally. Happy about that. So we're gonna try a few shots. I've still got a little bit of battery left, so let's see if we get anything good. Alright, so as I say, today is just getting out, walking around Dartmoor a little bit, 
and a bit of an explore for me and Zach. And uh, the one thing I just started thinking about was, I get being a photographer can be tricky. You can have blank stages where you just, you create a thinking, feels like it's gone and you're like, oh, what do I do? I really want to do something, but I can't do it. And then you start to get lazy. Then you start to think, oh, I can't be bothered to go out today. And it does happen, it happens to all of us. But even just getting out with the camera, exploring somewhere like this, grabbing a few snaps with you know, your partner or even a friend or anything really, just getting out and doing something different. If you're a portrait, uh, portraiture photographer, like I am, you know, you can still get out and do this sort of stuff, a little bit of landscape or just exploring. So just make sure you get out, grab your camera, get out, use it to develop yourself a little bit and it'll actually help your creative mind settle in because even walking around areas like this, you know, I'm starting to think, yeah, I'd love to do like a full brand shoot here. I'd love to actually set something up because this is a really cool, unique feel to it. So just make sure you get out with your camera and practice because that's what it's all about. Going on to what I said, just looking at different things, you know, getting out with your camera, it helps you, it develops your eye in some way. I've just sort of seen this really cool potential image. So shooting through these trees, just to where Zach's gone now, sort of using these trees as a natural um, border, if you want, or a frame, and we'll see what we get. But I'm gonna put on the 70 to 200 for this because I think it'll work quite well. All right, so here it is, the absolute beast. But I'm gonna see what we get. So as I say, from my point of view, this is where we're gonna be shooting through and towards Zach, and hopefully we get some good, good images. Um, I'm not gonna record it this time while I'm doing it just because we're running low on this battery. For some reason, the A6400 loves to lose charge whilst recording, unfortunately, and I don't have a spare battery. I really should get a spare battery. Hmm. Right, let's see what we get with this, and hopefully they come out well. I'll pop them on the screen just now. All right, so that's the end of the video. Now, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe, like, and leave a comment. It really does help the community, and I'm trying to grow this channel up to 50 subscribers, so we're not too far off, we are getting there. The images came out really, really well, and even though this was just a explore of the area, checking it out, going on a bit of a walk, it just goes to show that grabbing your camera, getting out there and practicing, you can actually still get some really cool stuff. And more importantly, it's a good experience just to learn different settings, different environments. If you're a portrait photographer, get out and do some landscape. You'll be surprised how much that can help you look for things when you're doing brand shoots, portrait shoots and sessions, it really can. So grab your camera, get out there and explore because this, well this is what it's all about. Okay, so we're gonna head back to the car. I'm gonna get some food because I'm pretty hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah, she's hungry as well. And yeah, we'll have a look at the images. As I say, they've probably already been on the video, so hopefully you enjoyed them. I will see you in the next video. Have a great week. I'll catch you next time.